Five Unusual People in the World, Part 53. Hello, everyone. I'm Keisha, and have a great day. There are no two people looking exactly the same. There is always something that distinguishes us from others, and these people have a very different appearance. Let's meet them through this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Robert Bobrovsky. Robert Bobrovsky was born on July seventeenth, two thousand, in Arad, Romania, commonly known as Robert Bobrovsky. Recently, he became famous due to his unbelievable height. At seven feet seven inch, at just twenty, he made his name as one of the tallest basketball players in the world. Perhaps Robert inherited his height from his father. His father is former basketball player Zygmunt Bobrovsky, whose height is seven feet one inch. At eight, Robert was one inch taller than his mother. By the age of twelve, he was taller than his father. Since childhood, he has been the subject of medical science research due to his remarkable height. However, his great height is not a hormonal disease or an overgrowth syndrome, as many people wonder, but it is inherited from his father. Robert was named the youngest high school basketball player alive. Although Robert has no tumor or disease that causes him to be taller than others, he does have scoliosis, which means the spine is curved due to an abnormal height. The Wolverine is a Marvel superhero film based on a character Wolverine. I bet we all know the main character, but is there really such a person? Oh, maybe not. But being called a werewolf does. Number four, Larry Gomez. Larry Gomez, living in San Bernardino, California, USA, is nicknamed a werewolf because of 98% of his body, including his face, is covered by thick black hair, and he is also known as the most hairy man in the world. Larry was born with congenital hirsutism syndrome, a rare disease that affects more than 100 people worldwide. For many people, it may be a strange thing, but for him, it is very familiar because out of more than 100 people with this disease. Some are in his family. With such an appearance, he also didn't have many classmates. He was often bullied, but then he became a circus actor. However, everything changed when Larry had the opportunity to appear in Hollywood. Larry's real name is Victor, but he took the name Larry after the main actor in the movie The Werewolf, which was shown in 1941. He wanted to remind people. Not to judge a person by their appearance, he hopes his story can spread motivation and confidence for others. Every human being is unique in their own way. Whether their skin is black, white, red, or brown, we all have our own uniqueness. Now it's the time to meet a very special male model. Number three, Stephen Thompson. Stephen Thompson was born and raised in Brooklyn, who is distinguished by his unique and curious skin color. He was tall, pale, with white hair and icy blue eyes. Although many people think it's Photoshop photo, it's actually his skin, so special in the crowd. The cause of this appearance is albinism, which causes a decrease or a complete loss in the production of the pigment melanin in the body, manifested by a change in skin pigmentation and human hair into pale or colorless. Initially, he was a teacher and never dreamed that one day he would become a model. But one day, the fate pushed him to meet a photographer. This person was fascinated by Stephen's unusual beauty, so he took a photo, and it was a surprise when all those photos were published in a famous magazine. Albino models don't always get the chance to shine, but there's no doubt that Stephen Thompson has quickly become world famous. Maybe he was given a beauty that everyone dreams of, even though it's a disease.
Any woman in the world wants to look feminine, able to attract many men, but not everyone can get that. Let's meet the next special woman. Number two, Augustina Dorman. Miss Augustina Dorman, born in 1975, lives in Kapolein Riau Province, Indonesia. For many years, she had to hide her face under a veil because of her unusual beard. You are probably wondering why she has a beard? That was also a question she has asked herself but couldn't figure out. Augustina said she started growing a beard when she gave birth to her first child at the age of 25. She tried to hide it for 19 years before she was brave enough to remove the veil, but it must have been a very bad time for her. Not only does she grow a stiff and long beard under her chin like a man, but she also grows hair on her chest. Worried that her children will be ridiculed by others, she always tries to hide her unusual beard with a small veil and often wears a shirt to cover her entire body. These hairs cause a lot of inconvenience and embarrassment to Augustina, so she decided to have them cut. But every time she cut or plucked it, she had to experience terrible pain that lasted for several days. In the end, she had to let her hair grow naturally. In pursuit of the ideal, many people are following strict diets, exhausting workouts, using all kinds of supplements and methods to lose weight. But is that any good? No one can say for sure, but being too thin is actually a bad thing. Number 1. Super Skinny In 2012, the image of the extremely strange man was widely spread on social networks. He has a big head like a normal person, but his body is tiny. There's even a video of a band visiting him at the hospital. With such a big head and a shrink body, it is certain that his health is in bad condition. Try to imagine you carry a head many times bigger than the body, it's like we're carrying a car on our head. Maybe it only exists in science fiction movies. We have met many thin people in this world, and they have to use a lot of weight gain measures or someone with a disease, but obviously, they still have the form of a human. Not anyone looking like a cartoon character like this guy. Many have doubted the authenticity of the photos and even videos of him. They think this is a scam, a Photoshop product, or a video that has been arranged. It was later revealed that it was just a Titanica skit from Mr. Show with Bob and David. It is fortunate that no one has to suffer such a terrible life. I think each of us should respect others, no matter how different their appearance is. They should be loved and respected. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you later.